This is the second in the Tropical Fish Aquarius question series. This series attempts to offer answers to frequently confusing questions that a new aquarist might find they have to deal with. Although the video will provide a lot of information on this topic, in many cases it is best to visit the Tropical Fish Aquarius sites to get the full story and answer any follow-up questions. You will find a lot of information gathered there and resources that will help an aquarist succeed with keeping tropical fish. Why do I have cloudy water? Well, the answer somewhat depends on how long the aquarium has been established. Cloudy water often looks like a glass of milk that has been poured into it. Milky and whitish. If this is not the description of the cloud in your case, your problem may be due to different reasons than this video will be covering. No matter what the age of the aquarium, a milky cloud is normally the result of a sudden expansion in population bacteria that is termed a bacterial bloom. This is concentrating billions and billions of individual bacteria so densely packed together as to be seen as a cloud to the naked eye. This can happen in any age tank, new or old, but usually for different, for different reasons. If the tank is less than a week old, often only three days, the condition is termed new tank syndrome. The bacteria are simply exploiting ideal conditions. The water is sterile, perfect for them to populate uninhi uninhibited by pre predation, and where the water contained an abundance of dissolved organic materials when it was added, this is quite common in spring or other times where runoff to the reservoirs is heavy. In these conditions, it takes about three days to go from zero to visible populations clouding the water. New tank syndrome is quite common in new tanks and relatively harmless. Since the bacteria are aerobic and use oxygen, it is sometimes helpful to add an aeration device to supplement the oxygen content for a well-stocked aquarium. The conditions nor normally clears as the dissolved organics being used as food are consumed by the overcrowded populations. Once this occurs, the bacteria die off and the water clears by itself. Bacteria die of starvation until the population reaches a sustainable population size and then can maintain an equilibrium. This level is well under visual observation, so tanks remain clear naturally. The treatment is to remove the nutrient supply from the water and prevent any new supplies from being added. The best way to do this is to stop feeding the fish for three days. This is rarely a problem for the fish since in the wild they never know when their next meal will be and are adapted to a, a fast of this length. After this period, there are, is usually an improvement in visibility and you can start returning to feeding. This should be once a day. The fish should be fed as much as they can eat in two minutes with nothing hitting the bottom. It always, I always ignore the community bottom fish. They are scavenging other wastes on the bottom as their food. If the aquarium has been operating for a length of time, the bacterial bloom that causes clouds in the water is often from a different cause. Instead of the new water providing and the excess in nutrients, overfeeding and poor maintenance can permit the buildup of dissolved organics in the aquarium. As a new tank syndrome, the bacterial population becomes so concentrated that it's seen as a milky cloud by the naked eye. Treatment of a bacterial bloom in an established, dirty tank is a little more involved in dealing with a new tank syndrome. The first step is to do a tank maintenance. Remove and replace between 20 to 40 percent of the water. Use a gravel cleaner to do this. That way you remove the waste in the gravel with the water and clean the overall environment. Do not remove and replace all the water at once. You'll kill your bacterial filter and the situation will get much worse. If you feel you must remove and replace more water than this, spread it over a period of a few days, allowing the fish to have a chance to adjust to new water for a while before changing the conditions with another water change. In these cases, I will tend to change water about 25% a day for a few days in a row. The second stage of treatment is permanent. It should always become a habit. Start feeding only once a day so that the fish have plenty of time to digest and create less wastes. This method also reduces the amount of organic materials added to the aquarium. When feeding is resumed, the standard protocol is used. 
Feed only as much of the, as the fish can eat in two minutes with nothing hitting the bottom. Ignore the standard bottom fish, since they scavenge for partially digested waste normally. If the species is difficult to feed, feed it separately so you can control the amount of food added as well. There are some other methods to clarify the water quickly. Generally, these are commercial preparations that are designed for specific purposes, such as rapid clarification. These are discussed at the social network site devo devoted to Aquarius, tropicalfishaquarius.net. Go there for the rest of the story. Membership is free, and you can get answers to most of your questions and develop a network of Aquarists to help you.